What's up, y'all? Welcome to another episode of THKD TV. Uh, this time around, I'm going to be doing something a little different. This past weekend, I had the good fortune to visit Southern California, and while I was down there, I went to Amoeba Records in Hollywood. And as you might know, Amoeba Records have their own YouTube series called What's in My Bag. Uh, I thought I'd kind of do my own little version of that and uh, show off some of my purchases while I was down there. Um, so hopefully you guys will enjoy this. Um, I will warn you in advance, I'm a CD guy, so all you vinyl fetishists might want to look elsewhere because I'm going to be showing off some CDs that I bought. Um, that's just how I roll. I grew up with CDs and uh, that's what I buy. That's what the bulk of my collection is. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. Uh, first up, we've got Death SS with Do What Thou Wilt. Uh, this is their fourth album. Uh, you guys might know uh, that I worship this band's first three albums. Uh, Death SS is an Italian band, uh, and their sound is really hard to describe. It's There's a little bit doom, there's a little bit traditional metal, there's a little bit thrash in there in their first couple albums. Uh, I've never really listened to anything beyond their first three albums, so I'm not really 100% sure what this is going to sound like. Uh, it's my understanding that they kind of went in a more electronic or industrial direction later on. So this might, you know, this might continue the sound of their first couple albums, or it might be industrial, or it might be transitional, I'm not sure. But uh, it was super cheap, and uh, I love Death SS, or at least their early stuff, so I had to pick this up and give it a try. Uh, looking forward to finding out what this sounds like, because these guys are awesome. Uh, if you've never heard them, I really highly recommend checking them out, uh, especially Heavy Demons, that's probably my favorite album of theirs. But uh, yep, Death SS would do it that well. Really excited about this to see what it sounds like. Uh, this is another band I'm super excited about. Um, this is Chocolate Synthesizer by Boredoms. Uh, Boredoms are a Japanese band, and they're one of those bands that I've been reading about and hearing about forever but never actually listened to. Um, so while I was at Amoeba, I made sure to check out their section to see what they had. Um, this is one. Uh, this one was actually released on uh, Reprise Records, um, so that's how crazy uh, the music industry was at uh, that time back in the 90s. They would put, a uh, major label would put out uh, a band like Boredoms, and, you know, who are basically a noise band or a noise, you know, experimental kind of band. Um, I think it's awesome that major labels used to do that. Certainly you'd never see anything like that coming from a major label today. Uh, again, this is another... I have no idea what this is going to sound like, so I'm super excited about it. Um, love to get things every once in a while that are more challenging to listen to, so I'm hoping uh, this will be uh, a very interesting listen. Looking forward to jamming this one. Next up is a band I'm sure you guys know that I really love. Uh, this is Hell. Uh, this is Hell, uh, the British band, as opposed to the American Doom band, which I am not so excited about. <laughs> Um, but I love the British Hell. Um, these guys have been around uh, for a long time. They were a part of the new wave of British heavy metal. Uh, they never got around to releasing an album back then, uh, but they came back a few years ago and put out an album called Human Remains, which is an awesome album. If you haven't heard, I strongly suggest you check it out. Uh, there's a review on THKD's uh, blog if you haven't read that. Hopefully that will give you some insight and uh, make you want to go check it out because it's really good. Um, and as much as I love that album, I never got around to checking out this album, uh, their second album, Curse and Chapter, from 2013. Um, but again, I saw it, it was super cheap, and I love their first one, so I'm very excited to check it out. Uh, if you haven't heard these guys, uh, definitely some new, obviously, new wave of British heavy metal sound, but also mixed in as kind of some theatrical uh, qualities that would remind you of maybe Merciful Fate, and even, uh, in some cases, I think a little bit Cradle of Filth. Um, really awesome vocals, great guitar work. Uh, Andy Sneap actually joined this band to kind of help him out, and he's uh, one of their guitar players. So uh, the guitar playing is off the hook, the riffs are great. Um, again, the vocals are fantastic. Um, definitely check these guys out if you ever get a chance. Again, this is Hell from the UK. Not to be confused with the uh, Funeral Doom Band from the US. These guys fucking rule, and you definitely need to check out Hell. Um, from, as far as I know, I've heard a couple songs off this, and it continues the sound of Human Remains, so I'm super psyched to uh, blast the living hell out of this one. Uh, also picked up Arizmenda, just 
Despair's Depths Descended. Uh, Erzmend is part of the Black Twilight Circle. I'm sure you guys are probably familiar with your, if you're reading my blog and watching my YouTube channel, I'm sure you're familiar with BTC bands. Um, this I had never had a chance to pick up yet, so I was super stoked to find it used uh, over there at Amoeba. Um, really good black metal, uh, very unique sounding black metal, uh, very tortured sounding black metal. Um, very, very, very <laughs> tortured sounding black metal. Um, just uh, totally wild stuff. If you never check these guys out or any of the Black Twilight Circle bands, I definitely recommend you do it because they're probably the best thing going in American black metal at this at this time. Uh, they're just really fantastic. A lot of their stuff comes out on tape, but uh, they've been starting to get into CDs and vinyl here the last couple of years. Um, so if you're not a big fan of tapes, definitely try to track down the CD and vinyl releases of this stuff because it's really good, really unique. All the bands are amazing. Ares Menda, Valon, um, Calathon, uh, Blue Hummingbird on the left, all these stuff are really good. Uh, definitely check out Black Twilight Circle bands and especially check out Ares Menda because it's really good stuff. Up next, uh, Orthodox, Grand Poder. Uh, this is a really old, well, I shouldn't say really old, but uh, early 2000s album. Uh, I believe this is their debut uh, Spanish doom band with uh, some jazz elements and experimental elements thrown in. I believe Southern Lord uh, did a version, of, uh, released a version of this album, but this is actually the Alone Records pressing. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any differences between those two pressings, um, but uh, very excited to check this out. I had a... Uh, digital promo of this a long time ago, but uh, the computer that it was on bit the dust. So I've heard this before, it's really good. Um, if you're into Doom that's a little out there, a little experimental, uh, this is definitely worth checking out. Uh, you know, everything I've heard from these guys is really good, um, but uh, this one I'm excited to have because, um, again, it is their debut and it's something I used to have digitally, but uh, don't have any more, so it's cool to get a physical copy of this one finally. And again, it was super cheap. Uh, that's one of the things I love about Amoeba is you can find some amazing deals on used CDs there, and especially in their metal section, it seems like they always have like some crazy good deals on used metal. Uh, so if you ever get a chance, go to Amoeba because you'll get cool CDs like this for four dollars. So uh, last but not least of the CDs, um, I've been checking out a lot of uh, or kind of revisiting. Uh, the melodic death metal movements, if you will. Um, especially a lot of the second and third tier bands that I never got around to really listening to and appreciating. And one of those bands is Kalinish Circle. Um, so I bought recently a, a two CD set uh, with their first two albums and I've been kind of hoping to work my way through their discography. Um, but I found this one. This is their final album, Pitch Black Effects. Uh, I believe it's from 2005. And these guys, I feel like they're probably considered third tier, maybe second tier, I'm not sure, as far as Malak death metal concerned, but they never really got their due, um, you know, at least from what I've heard so far, they've got some really cool riffs and stuff. Uh, it's my understanding that this album, they included some electronic elements, so I'm very curious to see what it sounds like, if it holds up, or if it's, you know, uh, a product of its time. So, very curious about this one. Again, it was super cheap, so I'm super psyched to check it out. Uh, Again, this is Kalenish Circle, Pitch Black Effects. If you're into melodic death metal at all, definitely check out their earlier stuff. I can't speak for this album yet because I haven't listened to it, um, but they are a pretty cool band and I'm hoping that this will be good. <laughs> uh, then finally, Amoeba doesn't just sell uh, music, they also sell t-shirts and toys and all kinds of stuff. So I couldn't help but uh, browse their section of metal t-shirts and I did pick up this amazing Brujeria. Matando Guerrero shirt. Um, I've always wanted a Brewery shirt, been wanting one for a long time. Uh, when they came to Sacramento, I wasn't able to go see them, so I couldn't pick up a shirt from the show. So this was a good opportunity as any. Uh, this is the shirt I wanted, because obviously this is the classic first album cover. Um, and I'm very psyched to be able to wear that and hopefully scare the shit out of some people. <laughs> but no, seriously, it's cool. It's a cool shirt, and I'm stoked to have it. And that is everything I purchased uh, at Amoeba Records Hollywood. Again, if you ever are down in that area, definitely, definitely go. Um, whether you're a vinyl fanatic or you're into cheap CDs like I am, 
definitely go there. They have an amazing selection. Their metal section is awesome. Their rock section is great. They also have uh, tucked away in the back, they have a, a noise slash experimental type section that's really cool. And I probably would have bought some stuff there if I had had a bigger budget. Um, but uh, again, yeah, it was a great time. Love going there. Spent several hours. <coughs> Excuse me. And you should definitely check it out. Uh, that's all for THKD, What's in My Bag, Amoeba Records Hollywood. Thanks.